week we're praying for your wife's relationship with your parents. Now, let me say right up front, this one is very delicate and you yourself will need to pray for you for wisdom to navigate this. Now, here are a few things I want you to consider. First of all, be very careful to not just assume her relationship with your parents feels as good as yours does. Just because you fell in love with her doesn't mean they have or will, at least to the same degree as you. Now, biblically, you've left the nest of your mom and dad and have become one with your wife. So therefore, her perspectives and even her opinions, whether you agree with her or not, are your number one consideration and priority. Now, honestly, this is one lesson that I had to learn the hard way. You see, for many wives, the struggle to feel accepted and unconditionally loved is really the deepest core level need that she has. Unfortunately, many wives feel constantly evaluated on whether she's a good enough wife to you, a competent mother to those precious grands, a capable keeper of the house, and even her physical appearance. It's like there's a jury out there that's still deliberating on whether you made the right choice or not. Now, to be sure, some of these challenges are rooted in the fact that she grew up in a different family system than you did, so naturally you're going to think and do things differently. Some of them are rooted in her own insecurities that may be surfacing, or even some of your parents' imperfections and personal issues that may be uh, clouding the relationship. And most likely, it's a mixture of all of those things. Now, whether these things are based in fact or perception, they can be extremely hurtful. That's why men, ultimately, the kind of relationship she has with them depends a lot on you. For instance, like the way you talk about her when she's present or not present, or whether or not you consistently side with your parents and against her. Men, what she really needs from you is for you to be a safe place for her to share and even vent her feelings about this, and to be someone who knows how to validate her, rather than getting defensive and blaming her. Maybe most importantly, it's going to require a regular habit of talking and praying about these things, and that will help both of you to better understand each other and prepare her for a better relationship with her in-laws.